it maybe it's, it's good to look again at why you might buy some of these different covers. So I, why would you buy a proportional cover? Because I, I guess also it's different depending on if it's a, you know, you share 50-50 uh, versus if you share 20-80. You know, yeah. if you've, I, I know it's quite common, for example, in some countries where there's not much local capital available. Mm -hmm. The reason why insurers will buy, you know, an 80% quota share is, is quite different to the reason that somebody... Uh, who's in a country where there's lots of capital available might actually buy a quota share looking at things like seeding commission instead and, and other things. So be good to get your thoughts on that. Yeah, I think um, at a very e at a very sort of high level, one of the reasons you would do that is how well you understand the risk. If you if you know the risk really, really well and you know it's quite profitable, but you're trying to offset the exposure a little bit, you might want to retain or keep more of that risk because you know the claims are going to be relatively low, but the premium's quite good. Um, the more you're going into a new area or a new class of business or type of business, we've talked about cyber. Um, if there's uncertainty there, you might want to offload more of that to help you manage that. But I think you've touched on a really interesting point that you, I think makes sense to, to look into further is when you're trying to get into new geographies or access risk more efficiently. And there's using proportional insurance as a, as a powerful, reinsurance is a powerful way to do that. 